that is not what I expected. It seems that all these doors are locked. What do you think this door is? I wonder what's really behind this. Presentism. What do you want me to explain what that is? Okay. Well, presentism is the philosophical idea that only the present moment exists and that the past and the future are non existent. So, only what is happening right now, at this precise second, is real. So, if I were to say Einstein exists, technically this statement would be false, according to presentists because Einstein belongs to the past, right? He's no longer among us. But if I were to say the same statement back in 1901, then it would become true because Einstein was part of the present in 1901. Now, Buddhist philosopher Fyodor Shebatskoy wrote, everything past is unreal. Everything future is unreal. Everything imagined, absent, mental is unreal. Ultimately, real is only the present moment. But this time perspective heavily depends on one's perception of reality. It seems that for presentists, something qualifies as real when it is known to be true and present. For me, reality is everything that is in the universe, even the things that are beyond our perception and understanding and knowledge, right? See, presentists believe that their perception of things is objective uh, and not subjective, as subjective is everything that is a creation of the mind, right? They believe that the past and the future is subjective. But in a way, their perception of time and reality is hardly objective and is mostly subjective, as it depends on our perception of things which is dependent on the mind. It also relies on the information picked up by our five senses, which is also supervised by the mind. And it also relies on our knowledge, what we think we know to be present and true, which is also taking place in the mind. On top of that, it is also incompatible with relativity. As philosopher of science Dean Rickles pointed out, the consensus among philosophers seems to be that special and general relativity are incompatible with presentism. Why? Well, because special relativity shows us that any event can appear differently depending on where the observer is located in space, as well as the speed at which they are traveling, you know, time slows down when speed increases. This means that there is no universal present. On top of that, it is also incompatible with other theories such as string theory which is why many physicists support another theory, which is eternalism. Now, eternalism supports the fact that the present, the past and the future are equally real, but we are just interacting with different temporal parts of the space-time metric. Our perception of reality does not impact the rest of the universe. Just because we are not aware of the existence of something does not make it less real, like presentists would tend to believe. As Einstein once wrote, right here, people like us who believe in physics know that the distinction between past, present and future is only a stubbornly persistent illusion.
Eternism supports the fact that time belongs to its own temporal dimension, the fourth dimension, and that it forms space-time by interacting with the third dimension or the space dimension. Time, therefore, belongs to the structure of the universe, making the past, the present and the future as equally real, with only a slight difference in accessibility. So, is the arrow of time just an illusion? Is it really a one-way street, past to future? Or is it just how we physically experience it? Tired of boring courses? Meet Time Immersion, my first immersive and interactive course. Come on a quest with me and discover the true nature of time and the real science of time travel through 22 exciting immersive videos and interactive modules. But it doesn't stop here. The third module offers you a more practical approach to time perception and offers tips and exercises based on psychological and neuroscientific work to improve your relationship with the past, the present and the future in 31 videos. Explore a whole new way of learning and participate to the foundation of the future of education now on Noviria.com.